Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Read AI. I did a previous video that I'll link to in either in the description or somewhere about sort of the limitations with Read AI. And I love this tool. I think it's a fantastic tool. I think these guys are doing a really, really good job. However, it seems to be lacking some very fundamental features, and I'm not entirely certain what is the deal with that. So one of the things that they're missing is an API integration. All right, they, they don't have a Zapier integration. And so there's there's no plan here that you could pay for that could give you any kind of um, additional web hooks. So let me just break that down just to make sure that we understand. So the goal is very simple. Actually, you know what? let me whiteboard it. Right, let me just stop with this. So let me whiteboard it. So it'll make more sense to you guys once you understand what the problem is. So you, you okay, so you're doing a, multiple meetings as we know this is a meeting conversation it's about meeting so you got a meeting in teams right T A M S. you got a meeting in zoom and we'll just go with those two for now right and so read ai is obviously extracting that information and putting it into its own dashboard okay and that's what we have today it's doing the transcription yada 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 it also sends you an email after the meeting get away it also sends you a uh, uh, really a email after the meeting, okay? And that email, I can't see my cursor after now all of a sudden. So that that email comes to you as a summary of the meeting. The problem that I have, which I've mentioned in my previous video, is that the far the format is just off. It's just wrong, and it's just it's just a bunch of garbage inside of the formatting, which drives me nuts. So what I'm trying to do is come up with a way that I could just get the data out of this, essentially the email, in a very specific format. And I'll show you that format in a bit. Um, and I haven't been able to figure that out because they just don't have a way to do it. So the only way that I've been able to do it is I, I literally log into the portal, into the application itself. I log in and I got to log in here. Let me see. So, right? I, no, 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 wrong one. So I log into a meeting, this is family discussion or whatever, right? And um, let me just go to one that makes more sense. Client meet radio. Right, so I would log into a meeting and what I would basically do is I just come in here and I copy the text for the description and I put it in notepad and that's my summary. And then I come in here and I, you, you get the idea, right? I just copy all of the different sections like that. And this is just, who wants to do this? First of all, it's slow, it's time consuming. And because all you want is just the extracted notes. Now in the perfect world, what I'd like to do is I'd have that notes come to, let me go back to my whiteboard. I take those notes, the extracted notes, let's call this the extracted notes, right? Um, notes. Okay, so I take that extracted notes and then I would send it to one of the following. You might have your own different variations. I'm, I'm giving you this as an example, um, either Google Docs, right? Or um, Notion, okay? Or OneNote, if in my case, right? Or, or any number, any other system. Maybe, maybe you needed to, um, maybe you need to, I don't know, send it to your own uh, customers with some additional email. So you want to send it to yourself in a proper format, and then you want to be able to add some additional notes on top of it and then send it out to your customer, right? Like there's, there's a million different sort of reasons why you might want it. So it seems to me a little crazy that I can't extract the information out of this tool here. So in a perfect world, what would happen is these guys would have sort of a, what we call a web hook, right? And the minute the meeting is ended, so end, okay, it would fire the web hook and then you can tell it, hey, call Zapier, said a P I E R. And if you don't know what Zapier is, I'm going to do a video about this, but Zapier is basically an orchestrator. It's a way for you to kind of um, send tasks to multiple different other tools like Google Docs or email or any other derivative tool. So that's what you want, right? So there's a ton of different types of tools that exist that does the same thing here. So there's Zapier, there's Make, 
make that calm that's a, not a new popular one and um and then azure has um or microsoft has flow that does the same thing and then um, I on the enterprise side I use um, Logic App, right? So they all do the same thing, more or less, with varying degrees of complexities, but concepts are pretty much the same. So 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 with that, what I'm going to do in this video here is I'm going to show you how to get your meeting notes out of this uh, tool because I, I've kind of solved this problem. Now I did a previous video about this and and. And I, like it, it, it was just a really long run on video and it went through like seven different parts. So I figured I'd just kind of summarize it in this email. However, I have to preface this by saying the following that I'm about to show you, this is my disclaimer, it's a real disclaimer. The following that I'm about to show you, I do not condone, I do not support, I do not encourage you to do this, okay? This is, you, you've seen those videos. What's the, what's the, what's they normally say? Um, kids don't try this at home. This is one of those situations. Do not try this at home. However, if for academic purposes, you had a need to do some sort of research to be able to understand the process in which you would be able to automate extracting your data from Read AI, um, this video or uh, tutorial or guidance or whatever you want to call it a problem that I've been solving for myself may help you and again I do not condone this just want to be clear with this okay so that's my disclaimer um, in fact let me just do one more just to be clear because I don't want anybody coming and suing me for 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 whatever I want nobody suing me period <laughs> Uh, but uh, where is it? Da, 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 da. Oh, right, terms and conditions. Yeah. So if you do Google to read AI, and I want to point this out because I'm pro read AI. I like these guys. I think they're great. Okay. Um, scraper clearly says here. Okay. Prohibited content. When using a service, you agree that you are not. Uh, you will not violate any applicable law. Blah 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 blah. Right, and it says use for mining robots, similar gathering information, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so go read up your terms and conditions. Please make sure that you do not reference me in any of your filings of lawsuits, whatever. Uh, but um, but just in the event that you might need have a need to do this, and you wanted to pursue this option of automating the process of getting your meeting notes out of this. Um, then this video might potentially help you and yeah so i've said enough about that all right so here's what i did so I, and i'm not going to go through the full details on the program inside partially because i um i kind of messed things up i actually i got i had to check gpt i did all of the stuff now i might actually post the other videos but um so you can understand exactly how i got to this point however the problem was and you know what let me know in the comments I'm doing this as a new thing for me. Let me know in the comments if you want me to post the other videos that actually have the actual steps itself. However, this is just sort of like a breakdown version of it. And one other thing I'll mention very quickly before going to the details. I know I'm rambling here, but um, uh, I'm going to post this on my GitHub so you can just download the code and just use it if you want. And it's going to be under mm, repositories. Yeah. Read AI Notes Extractor. So the code is not there right now. I'm gonna put that disclaimer inside of here and then I'm gonna put it up and then you'll think. And then also, um, there's, I'm, I'll show you exactly where to use the name and password will go um, so you can get it. But here, let me just cut right to the chase and show you exactly what, I'm, what, I'm, what the goal is. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna, I'm going to do another video on make.com and Zapier and some of the other tools. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in, in understanding how this stuff works a little bit more. However, this is the, um, this is the intent. So I've already kind of created a make and the make basically accepts a web request and then it sends it over to Google Docs. And I'm going to go into details of how I did this because I could do a, a different video around this topic specifically. It keeps turning off for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm on the free plan or what it is, but it keeps turning off. And these are the webhooks and everything. So this is the um, this is the code. And basically, like I said, I'm not a Python programmer. I don't do Python code for a living. So every single thing here was true chat GPT and thing. But basically, this is the code. 
Oops. Oh my goodness, go away. Uh, yeah, here. Okay, so I'll, I'll walk you through it, and and then I'll um I'll uh, I'll give you the details. So basically, what you have to do is, and again, all this username and password here is going to be gone. It's going to be changed. It's going to be edit, uh, removed before I um before I uh, upload this to their GitHub repository. So you're just going to see in your case, you'll just see password. Enter your password here, right like that. And then and so on, but um, yeah, just keep in mind, don't try these passwords, okay? And the URL link is not, is not gonna work, okay? So, um, so first of all, username is obviously my email address, password. I couldn't do this any other way, I was trying to do this in the environment build, yada yada yada, it wasn't gonna work. So, I'm just thinking, um, these are the extracted content, right? And then go all the way down to the bottom, the system calls login and extract. And then the second thing that it does is that it sends submits the data via API. Those are the two steps that it does. So step one is get the data, get the notes, meet the notes. And then step two is submit the notes to the API, which could be Zapier, it could be make.com, it could be Logic App or Flow or whatever you want it to do. You just need to create a webhook and send it over to that. Um, and so just for purely for convenience, I've just made every single thing easy here. So you could just get the, uh, put the URL in for make.com or Zapier webhook or whatever it is, put in your username and password and it should work. And then the only thing you have to do is just change the meeting name here. So I'll give you a real example. So here is, oh my goodness, keep, here is a client review meeting, right? And I'm gonna use this to extract. So if you look here, I have no client review meeting in, the, in this thing here right now, right? So what I could do with this is I could come in here and I could tell it, paste, client review meeting is what I'd like. And then to run it, I just need to do Python. Make it maybe. Yeah, so here, right? I just need to say Python read AI underscore login. So that's this guy here. And this guy will call this guy with all the details. And yeah, that's it. So press enter. Um, it's using Playwright, which is a whole lot of thing. And so it's gonna open up Read AI, it's gonna log in, put in password, log in to Read AI. It's gonna type in the notes. It has to wait a little bit because it takes a little time for Read AI to think. Then it's gonna find the first meeting. Right now it's just the first meeting. So you'll have to do this every time the meeting is finished in order to ensure that it works. And yeah, so now it's on the meetings page and what it's doing is copying all of the text out of it, including the date and time and in a second or two wait for it there we go fantastic right so this is what i'm looking for so this is the format that i care about right here so it's meeting summary yeah and oh it extracts the title by the way it puts the title as client review with the date and format here so if i were to put this in notepad for example paste it right I now have clean, proper, formatted text of the Read AI, right? And I'm able to then take this and do this anywhere I want. So now that I have that, that would have been submitted to make in this particular case, like I said, I'm using make.com, which I've never used before, by the way. So this is very new to me. So what time is it now? Uh, 5.25 a.m. So, May 21st, uh, uh, hang on. It keeps, re like, it keeps failing. That, not failing, not, the, not this part here. Uh, what time is it? 5.26 a.m. 5.26 a.m. May 20, what, May 29th. 20. Oh, you know what? This might be in a different time zone. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, this might be in a different time zone. Yeah, see? Now it's not getting the title. Why is it not getting the title? And the file name is missing. Um, I'm gonna have to check into why that's the case. The file name and the title is missing. 
So extracted title. Oh right, you know what? Uh, yeah, I missed that. I messed up. So extracted meeting title. is here and then let me just I'm not gonna go debug in this and then meet the name yeah so this should be fine this should be fine it should send the title so I think it might just be some issue with the code itself here file name title yeah okay we'll, we'll figure that out later on so anyway so the bottom line is it'll send you that and once you get that then you could do whatever you the hell you want with it so in this particular case, oh, this might be an old one, sorry. Uh, how do I, I'm not familiar really with make.com. It's a little, I find it, um, yeah, I'm gonna spend some time on this tool because it's, it's it's interesting, but there's some things I don't really see. It keeps turning off, I'm not certain why. Newly activated server, okay. Inactive scenario, sorry, this is history, 10 records in queue. Scenario deactivated by make for reason scenario. Oh, okay, right. So because um, I know why. Because it because it it um there's a there's a problem with the with this in that it keeps failing here on Google. Yeah. So. I, I yeah. It, anyway, it, it's failing here for some reason. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. We, we can fix that later on. So that's fine. So the point is, is that it'll send the notes over to, okay. So since it's enabled now, let me try to go back. Let me turn it on again. Pro, uh, um, thing. And then let me do this just at a point of just, just to prove that it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. So again, it's going to do the exact same thing. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Yeah, so it, so I see it. I'm, I'm getting an error in my email. That's why. So here, so this is there. Yeah, less than a second ago, right? So the problem is something related to Google Docs. Uh, automatic handler all information required. Make the com automatic missing required field content so some sort of parsing issue i'll figure that out later on that's not a problem that's not the goal here the goal is to show you how you would get your notes out of the tool by using this script which i'm going to upload and then again i do not condone or promote uh scraping of website illegally or anything breaking any sort of terms and conditions of any single way this is purely for academic research demo purposes okay so with that hopefully you have gotten some value out of this and hopefully it's helped you to uh, at least be able to um, you know get your meetings for academic purposes out of read AI okay thank you thank you and leave a comment in the video just in case you got any questions thanks